Clean look there and chopped the ball nice and clean, didn't touch anything. <laughs> so eight seconds left on the shot clock for San Miguel. Come on, not back in the ball game. Pontiveros. Oh, oh my! Oh my! Two of the premier shooting guards in the PBA with back to back three point shots. So Ontiveros giving James the taste of his own medicine, and it's a one point ball game. Almost a steal. Tigris gets it back for BMEC 38. Back to James Yap. Another one from the corner. No. Wow. <laughs> Well, you just feel like after James's seven-point performance, his conference low, that he really wanted to come out and get something going today. He's already got 12 points, and you can tell he's feeling it a little bit in this game. Less than five minutes to go in the second quarter. San Miguel looking to build on this one-point lead. Washington, covered by Roger Yap. Montiveros going for another one? No. Go ahead, pass to Roger Yap. Roger Yap with no reinforcements. He's blocked. No, it will be a foul. It looked like Don Don got a whole lot of ball on that drive to the basket. But Roger Yap doing what he does best. And again, attacking the basket in transition off of that long three point miss coming from Don Don. Roger Yap not wasting any time making his first free throw. So that ties it up again at 38. And this free throw shot brought to you by b main Derby's premium formula. Dito Vanessa Llamado could have taken the lead, but we stay tied. Nice, nice cut by Freeman. Freeman loses it. Really nice pass. You know what set that whole play up? Alex Cabagnot passed the ball ahead in transition. It really wasn't a, a clear fast break opportunity, but he gave it up to Jaywash. That put pressure on the defense and let Freeman come cutting down the middle open. If Cabagnot doesn't advance that ball, that play doesn't happen. And Freeman unable to break the tie. We want to thank uh, again the support of Keynes, the official underwear of the PBA. 39-38 is our score with four minutes and 23 to go. Freeman already in double digits. There's a double team on James Yap. Out to Roger Yap. Yap against a much taller defender. In comes Revis. Revis oh. the hook. Oh, it slapped away. It's a great block. And down low, in the Fonso with a finish. Another good pitch ahead from Cabagnot, who hits Antiveros, who then makes the extra pass. San Miguel making some stuff happen in transition. And this is a 30-second timeout brought to you by Handy Picks on first eight down Bahay. More bonds all, seals all. And, and what a block by Jaywash. You're right. To yes. start that whole play. Rocky Revis goes up with his hand above the rim, mm -hmm. takes a shot, Jaywash blocks it with his hand above the rim, and starts the transition opportunity on that play for San Miguel. And to be able to block a Rocky Revis. Yeah. That's sort of like jumping over a person. <laughs> it doesn't happen often when he's shooting a little jump hook there, but Jaywash with a great defensive stop. For those of you just joining us, this is game six in this best of seven semifinal series between the B. McDerby's de Manos and the San Miguel Beermen. Vito Lasatin here along with Alex Compton for Solar TV. And there you see James Yap breaking out of the shell, limited to seven points in game five. Now he has 12 points along with two rebounds. And we have Dominic Wu standing by with this report. Well, I talked to uh, Coach Ryan Gregor and asked him, how do you handle that James Yap, especially coming off a seven point uh, game performance and also all the things that are happening outside and off the court? He said, well, you know what? You just let him figure it out. He works on his shots in practice. He said, you just got to make him sure that you, he knows that you're there for him and you'll support him all the way. Thank you, uh, Dominic. Uh, Tony Washam scoring there his 15th point of the ball game, bringing BMAC Derby Ace again to within one. Good challenge by Pengris on that shot. Well, what Coach Ryan was saying about James is, you know, James is a great player. You're not going to teach him something in a day that's going to change his game. You just say, hey, you're our guy. We believe in you. Keep playing. And the steal by Kabagnut. Kabagnut just beating Revis. Oh, but that Revis. That should count. Yep. Yep. Will count. That's a good call because the ball hit the backboard first. Referee Art Herrera right on top of that one. Two points for San Miguel.
Here's a look at it. Yeah, clearly. Yep. Once the ball hits the backboard, you cannot touch it, and it made contact with the backboard first. You gotta love the hustle, though, from Rafi Reeves. It reminds you of Tayshawn Prince on Reggie Miller a few years back. Or the classic Elijah one uh, highlight. <laughs> yeah. We've got another 30-second timeout brought to you by Handy Picks on first aid, Bahi Mo, Bonds, all, seals, all. Well, we just both, uh, well, no, no, Red, Tayshawn Prince was in the 2000, uh -huh. Olajuwon was way back in the 90s, <laughs> so you're dating yourself, showing, I, I'm only like 24 years old, Showing your Vito's age. like 45, <laughs> so just so all the listeners, viewers know that. Yeah, well, well, Kuya, Vito. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I was just hoping that you would relate, actually. <laughs> Three minutes and nine still remaining here in the second quarter. And the battle resumes. Roger Yap looking for Pingris down low. Freeman trying to slap that away. Down low to Revis now. Revis loses it. Nice defense by Daniel DeFonso to poke that ball away. Freeman, the jumper. Yes! Gonna get a foul on Don Don Ontiveros there on the arm of Washam. And you know, that's gonna put Washam in the line for two clean looks from the free throw line. Multiple opportunities presenting themselves now for the BMEG Derby Asia Madness to take the lead back. Yeah, Tony Washam. Tony Washam, the man who stepped in to replace an already prolific import in Cliff Brown and proved to be really the, the, the missing piece of the puzzle, I think, for the BMEG Derby Asia Madness in this stage of the conference. Yeah, you don't necessarily fault Cliff Brown in his last game. He had 31 points and 23 rebounds, but a lot. it was just more of a positional thing, I think. Washington, much more of a face-up perimeter player. Brown, really an inside player and a better mix Washington has been with this BMAG team. Santos back to Cabagnon. Kabagnot oh. slashing, nice fake in the shot. Excellent ball fake by Kabagnot, freezing the defense and giving himself that little floater. Eight points in the ball game now for Alex Kabagnot. Watch him. Nice pass inside, got to do a nice little chippy right there. Just couldn't knock down that little jump hook. And Joseph Yo is all alone for three. You know, Kabak North made a few good ball fakes. He made the ball fake that got him the layup. And right there, he made the ball fake to get the zone moving. That got Joseph Yo a little more time and space for that clean three-pointer. Down to a minute and 30 here in the second quarter. Washington thinking about the three. Against the double team, out to Roger Yup. Roger Yup, the slash, the drop to Adupul. Adupul, oh, he dipped his shoulder there. That's going to be an offensive foul. Good job by Jay Wash, putting himself in the right position to draw that foul, that charge. You know, looking up at the scoreboard, the lineup's in here right now. You got San Miguel with three players, eight points, and one with 11. On the other side, you got really Washam and James who've been the story. Washam with 17, and James with 12. So more distributed scoring on the San Miguel side, but the main guys for BMAG have been doing their job in this first half. Kabagnon, out of the screen, breaks through the D. It's just so dangerous off the ball screen. Alex Kabagnon, he really knows how to change direction and change pace that gets in those little four, two-foot flo floater looks. After four points in game number five, Kabagnot now has 10. Time winding down here in the second quarter, less than a minute to go. James Yap flashing out. Roger Yap finds Pingers inside, touch pass to Washam. Six seconds on the shot clock. Washam with the jumper. Rebound by Washington. Arwin Santos blowing by his defender. There's going to be a foul down low. Samuel really